Education matters and elected officials on every level are taking action in Arkansas over the highly debated AP African American Studies course. The Department of Education removed it from the course list a few days before the school year began. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders met with lawmakers to discuss this issue. Samantha Boyd shares more. State Representative uh, Jay Richardson says the ongoing controversy over AP African American Studies was hashed out in a meeting which was closed to the media between Sanders, Oliva, Democratic lawmakers, and the Legislative Black Caucus. It was very clear that there were certain things we weren't going to come to agreement on, but it was great to at least have conversations and begin to see where both sides are coming from. According to a letter sent to districts teaching this course, the Department of Education is concerned about a few themes being taught in the class that may violate the state's new law prohibiting indoctrination and topics like critical race theory. We're definitely committed to working with Department of Ed and the governor's office to, uh, to rectify this issue, and I think we will. Meantime, the Little Rock School Board created a resolution to send a message to our students and, 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 and to black Americans, to be a matter of fact, that like our history is somehow insignificant. Uh, that is so far from the, from the truth. It commits to continue offering AP African American Studies and specifically notes Central High School's role in America's history that they're working to preserve. If you're comparing governorship, if you will, um, of, um, of current in 1957, they both are o overreaching and then they're on the wrong side of history. Central High School, as well as Little Rock School District, it is a civil rights site, and then that we stand bold um, against any form of um, educational injustice or else just um, injustice, um, period. Now with Samantha Boyd reporting. The Little Rock School Board voted to continue offering the course. Because the Department of Education is concerned the course will violate state law, districts wanting to teach the class must submit all materials by September 8th.